Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. So there is a whole slew of fantastic crap on the workshop. And by crap, I mean things of amazing greatness. So, a couple of users on Brick Rigs have really been going nuts lately, and it has been freaking sweet. First off, Verdeth has a couple of new items in there, one of which we're really gonna have to take a look at, which is over here. It's the alien prop. <laughs> You can see in his notes right down there at the bottom says face hugger jumps off. <laughs> also, a user named Grouchy, where are you at? Right there you are. A user named Grouchy has been making all kinds of tanks and they look freaking legit. Also over here we have Nexon LP1. This is called the non-broken down house. I need to know what this looks like. Yes, it's gonna have a high brick count. I imagine it will. What is that? Hold on. Did you see that? We've got like an outdoor box. Is this a grill top or something? What is this? It is. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, boys. Look at this. They made a freaking propane powered grill. I'm pretty sure that's what that is right there, right? Those are the propane tanks. Hold on. Does this open? I thought I saw this open. Hold on. Let me see if I have to get to my guy over here and then figure maybe if I zoom in a little bit. He Hold on a second. Well... I moved into the first person and I just ripped the freaking top off the crow. Okay. How did I do this? Oh, every time. Like, it doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't have to be a tank or a rocket or anything. Pretty much if I touch it, it blows up spontaneously. Well, luckily it hasn't blown up yet. Oh, God. These aren't explosive, are they? We're going to have to tear this house down, aren't we? Just for the hell of it. Anyway, we got the sweet patio out here on our delicious looking astro turf. This does have a legitimate cooktop. We're gonna walk in here real style. Look at this. We're inside. Okay, bonus points over here, Nexon. Look at this. We have a TV. I think, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a TV. And this time, it almost looks like there's a picture on it. And that's what I'm talking about. Normally, the TVs just have a blank screen. But this one looks like there's actually something on it. We have, I'm guessing this is your fake plant that you keep over here in the corner to try and remind people that you love the environment. I really don't know couple of random boxes uh i get this looks a lot like how i store things underneath my dressers and tables and end tables just randomly like this other than that that is the extra the, that is the entirety of the house a little bit of a bed area over here too so it's not like grotesquely large um it's got a fantastic roof structure on it oh i'm gonna enjoy blowing the living crap out of this thing next on i love your house but we're gonna have to tear it to pieces so i happen to have just downloaded this 8.8 .8 centimeter flat cannon by grouchy like i said grouchy's been doing look at this it's got casings around it too oh that's freaking amazing grouchy has been big on the uh on the different blowy uppy things i'm gonna tell you what okay this looks freaking legit hold on let me get out of here it's complete with sandbags. Hold on. The ammo right over here. We got the ammo. I assume that's in German. We have just look at this seating position too. Now, all of my all of there's quite a few out there that that are very very interested in classic warfare implements. How legit is this? Is this legit or what? Look at the casing going into the flat cannon right there. Man, this looks so good. Those casings look fantastic. All right. So let's see. Oh yeah. What can this thing do to a house, I wonder? I'm gonna aim it a little bit down. I wanna get I wanna get the bulk of this thing. Let's go ahead and throw on a little bit of slow-mo and here we go! Yes! Yeah, beat that house's ass! Beat that house's ass! Hold on, let's move over here. Oh yeah, bricks coming right at the camera. Fire the cannons again! Oh, this is why I love this game. Building things is only half the battle, boys. You gotta be ready to blow stuff up, too. Fire the flat cannon! Is this how flat cannons work, man? Look at the explosions! I wonder if this is at all realistic of what would happen to an actual house if it was being fired at by an 8.8 .8 centimeter flat cannon. Let's go ahead and bring that roof down. Fire! Yes! All right, let's go ahead and finish this thing off. Yeah! Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow, that was weird. It like went through the, yes! Look at it take out the rear glass and everything. Man! Oh, where's the, uh, where are those propane tanks at? Are those things explosive? Oh, <laughs> good. That, 
moment when you're trying to bring a house down and you end up bringing the entire uh, freaking office building behind it down. This thing's gonna burn down before I take it down with the with the bullets here. Although I can't really call these bullets. These are more like giant explosive entities. Oh, I can't get that low. There we go. All right. So, holy crap. I got like vaulted out from the gun there. So this is what's left. I'll save you, ma'am. Oh my God. I just got vaulted out of the way by the freaking blocks. What the crap? Ugh, I can't get <laughs> what the hell? There's like a force field around the freaking houses trying to keep me out. It's like, oh no, Gray, the last time I let you in, you beat my ass. I'm trying to save whoever's left inside. Yeah, pieces are just, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Our body is, is just fluttering through the air and I have no idea why. This is the grill top. So I have a feeling if the, if the uh, propane tanks were going to blow, they would already have done that by now. So the flat cannon, freaking amazing big fan but you know what the flat cannon needs to go up against it needs to go up against an aircraft all right boys i've got a helicopter set up there's one up there by barbaran it is a six-seater style helicopter oh look at this i didn't know there was a freaking reticule like this is awesome here we go let me just go ahead and slow things down for this kabam how good's the reticule nice right on oh, what the hell happened what is this what happened to our ah uh, what happened to our gun the gun exploded. Why? Where? What the hell? Oh, man. And we took out half of the freaking helicopter, too. The helicopter's still in the air. How could this be? We shot off the entire tail, and the helicopter's still doing fantastically. <laughs> Look at the gun flying through the air. Look at the flat cannon. Our poor guy seated inside. This dude's like, let me off this freaking ride. What have you done to me, Greg? You sick son of a bitch. Oh, my God. I, this is what I love about brick rigs. There is no reason for this to have happened. No reason whatsoever, but it happened. <laughs> so I think it's pretty funny. What the, what is blowing up now? Oh, there's just random explosions happening inside the helicopter. More than likely, all of the engines have caught fire. Oh, they have. Oh, this thing's gonna burn down. Okay, let's see if we can shoot this thing down without the gun randomly exploding on its own. That would be fantastic. Okay, let's try this again, only with less explosions on things that aren't supposed to explode. Okay, now, I've got the gun set up. The flat cannon is good. The helicopter's nice and low now, too. All right, here we go. Go ahead and slow things down. Go ahead and raise this up. Oh, yeah, we're going straight through the freaking cockpit this time, boys. Hold on. Right there. Right there. Watch this. Kabam! That's how I like it. That's how Daddy Gray likes it. What's happening? Are we flying again? Are we spontaneously flying again? It's happening. We're flying again. We are spontaneously lifting off the ground on the flat cannon. I don't know why. Oh, that's freaking sweet. Oh, yeah. And it's still up in the air. This thing is amazing. Like, its ability to remain in flight is incredible. Hold on. I got to get another shot off. There we go. That's the hit I wanted. That'll probably completely destroy the flat cannon. But we rocked, freaking rocked the side of the engines. This thing's going down straight to the ground. Bam! There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, as a matter of fact, we can probably finish it off, too. Hold on. Go ahead and line down here. And there we go. I just missed. <laughs> there we go. That was a shot. Yeah. Take that floorboard out. Uh, uh. I don't want to see any pieces left. There we go. And we'll take the building down behind it as well. Total destruction when you're dealing with brick rigs, baby. That's what I love about it. All right, that flat cannon caused some problems, but we've got another creation over here by Grouchy. Look at this freaking tank. Look at the colorations and the detail to this thing. I love this. This thing looks... These tanks that people are coming out with look so damn good. Anyway, it's pretty legit, too. Got a little bit of firepower on it. You boys know how it is. Let's roll on through the destroyed city. Look at all the buildings that are just laying on the ground. Let's roll on through the city over here and take that freaking flat cannon down before it can do a number on the rest of our Air Force. Here we are, boys. Rolling on up. Rolling up. Hold on. Let me go ahead and throw on the parking brake real quick. Let's go ahead and slow things down. And let's go ahead and fire. One shot. And that is the defiance right there. Holy crap. There is nothing left of that beautiful creature that once was the flat cannon. As a matter of fact, actually, there's a little bit left. Hold on. Whoop. Totally missed. Hopefully, the house behind it doesn't go down. Let's try this one more time. And ho. Okay, one more time. Fire. Fire because Grace says so. Fire. There we go. 
There she blows. That's what I like to see. Sky high, baby. Sky high. I don't know if any of the little uh, pieces are crap. I was gonna say, I don't know if any of those little pieces are explodable. I don't think that they are. Well, they're explodable as in when I shoot them, they blow up. But I mean like, are they explodable? Like, what the hell was that? First I thought it was a freaking seagull or something like that. It was just a brick that decided to say hi. I didn't know if they're explodable, like if they catch fire, they blow up. There's a lot of things randomly in this game that if they catch fire or get hit with something, they love to detonate randomly and blow up part of the city. So as we move into the alien warfare, which is freaking amazing over here, I have to show you guys this. This is the M577 APC by Mr. Verdeth himself. 817 bricks. The famous marine APC out of Alien. And it is pretty sweet. Let's go check this out real quick. Hold on. Let me, what does that say? Hold on, hug, hug my, hug something. Hold on here. Let me go ahead and uh, hop into the third person and check this out. We don't break for Xenos. Not today, boys. Hug my face and I break your skull. Seems legit. Now, there is something else, not an alien yet. We're gonna have that in a moment. But there is something that has taken up residence inside of our lovely city here. It is something called the City Destroyer. How well does it destroy cities, you ask? I don't know, but we're about to find out. We're gonna blast the living crap out of it with this thing. Oh, there it is. Looks pretty unassuming, right, guys? Doesn't look that impressive. Just a little truck, after all. Maybe carrying some explosive cargo. No big deal. Let's go ahead and sit right over here, because I don't know how close... If we're too close, we're gonna die. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and throw on the brakes. There we go. Now, what sort of- Ah, excellent, Verdeth. I was gonna say, what sort of scope do we have down here? Let's go ahead and slow things down for this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna slow things down even more, because I have a feeling things are gonna get out of hand very, very quickly. Alright, now all I have to do is aim up, get us right in the middle, and... Happy- holy crap, this thing, the actuators on this thing are all over the place. Probably because of the- how slow I'm going right now. Happy New Year! Well, now that I understand where it fires, I would- I would suspect to say that we were a little high. And by a little high, I mean a lot high. Let me go ahead and bring this thing down. Looks like you want those- those top portions right about- right about there. Okay, so. Maybe down a little bit further, just skimming the top there. No big deal, Gray's just kinda getting his, his bearings. You know how it is. Okay, this time's the charm. Right there, right there. Yes! Oh, what the hell? What the hell? I'm stuck in the camera. I'm stuck in the camera. How could I be stuck in the camera? How could this be right now? How is this happening to me? This is very odd. I don't usually, there we go. That is what I'm talking about. Hold on. Let me go ahead and pull up, so to speak. Oh, yeah. City Destroyer is right. Bring them down, boys. Bring them down, Verdeth. Bring them down, MLG Lenny. <laughs> oh, bring the buildings down. Brick rigs, boys. That's what we like to see. Buildings just half the battle, literally. The other half of the battle is destroying everything on the entire map. Oh, yeah. Well, suffice it to say, I think that we've done well for this particular city block uh, in that none of it's left. And look at this. The cool part was, too, we were just barely out of range from getting our, our APC absolutely obliterated. Oh, that's interesting. My little guy is just standing next to the APC over there. Oh, he's walking. This is actually very creepy. I don't know if he's, like, if he's, like, planking... Or what? Because he's like holding onto the side of it. His legs are kicking. He's doing like the, 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 what is that for the abdomen right there? The bicycle kick? That's not bicycle kicks. The, the flutter kicks. That's what they're called. This is good. Uh, this is a good torso. Uh, torso. This is a good, uh, core workout right here going on. This is it. Time for the creme de la creme. There it is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Friggin' xenomorph right there. The alien herself. I think, would this be a she? I'm pretty sure. Right there, looking imposing. Very, very good job. Look at all these actuators that he had to use for this. This is Verdeth's design as well. This goes along with his uh, his alien creations, the APCs and stuff like that. Now this is what the APC should be taking out. So let's go hop back over here. Hug my face and I'll break your skull. That's about right. We're gonna be breaking some skulls right now, baby. Hold on. 
Let me go ahead and bring this thing around. Hopefully the turret on this can go a full 360. The reason I say that is because sometimes, yeah, see right there how it's kind of getting caught? Sometimes you gotta manipulate the entirety of the vehicle. All right, now we're freaking set. Here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to aim a little bit, a little bit like this way, more so than you think. So right about there should be pretty good. Right about right, right about right here should get right that, that middle torso area. Ready? Here we go. Bam! That was a perfect shot. Holy crap. Hold on. Man, that's really weird that I can't get out of the driver's seat very easily. Okay. Well, yep. One shot, one kill. This is one Xenomorph that had no idea what was coming for her. Oh, there's the head! We blew the head clean off. You gotta take that home with you. Actually, hold on. Since we were talking about uh, breaking skulls and stuff like that, hold on now. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Gotta drive over it. You boys know. You catch it, you gotta, you gotta let it know what time it is. There we go. That's what the APC says. APC says hi, Xenomorph. You scumbag piece of garbage. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I'm starting to break the APC. Oh, this is not the way it was supposed to be. What kind of, what kind of freaking marine engineering is this? Space marine engineering when half the APC goes down just because I'm running into a building. Come on, man. Ugh. All right, one last tank over here by Grouchy. This is the PZKPFW4A. <laughs> it's a freaking sweet ass tank. Here, let me show you. So I've got something real big on the map to blow up with this. Probably one of the biggest items I could find. Look at this thing. If we, let me tell you something, Dev. If we can get working tracks in the game, that would be friggin' amazing. I don't know what it would take to make that happen. I imagine it would not be easy because we have been, we have been wanting tracks for a long time. The tracks would be so cool. Look at what is across the field over here, though. If we can get through all this debris, there is a big ass cargo plane over there. See, that's the problem though. Without real tracks, it it doesn't really go over stuff like this. To, you son of a, come on man, just get over the damn, get over the blocks. Screw it, I teleported. What are you gonna do? All right, this is it. Look at the size of this thing. We're gonna take this friggin' creature down big time. Oh, it's starting to raise up because I slowed down time. I'm gonna slow down time even more. Fire the cannon. Yeah! The, what the hell? What happened? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! This is what I was talking about! This is what I was talking about! Sometimes you're gonna blow up a random item and it'll just randomly level everything around it because it has like engines or uh, thrusters inside of it and the thrusters are explodable. Look at, look at this. Everything's going down. Everything in like a hundred foot radius just go well, there's nothing really over there. There's this building over here, but everything around it is just going down so badly. I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up here. And this is what is left. The glitching bricks flying through the sky. It is like a rain of freaking Legos. They're still dropping down. Look at it. It's like an infinite amount of Legos. Okay, finally the brick. Oh, no, one more. <laughs> okay, I think all the bricks are done. Anyway, those are just okay. I guess they're not done Anyway, that was just some more of the workshop creations over here on brick rigs I love this game so much We have the little flip doodle going on over here with uh, the random sorcery that every once in a while the poltergeist come over here in brick rigs the exorcist or whatever have you they kind of take hold of some of the bricks and utilize their ectoplasmic uh, Supernatural powers to make random things happen. Anyway guys. Hope you enjoyed it until next time folks. Stay foxy and much love <laughs>